Hey everybody, um, so today I'm going to um, do the unboxing first off of my um, espresso and cappuccino maker that I just got in the mail. Um, I'm probably going to butcher the name, um, but I believe it's the long high maybe and still losa. Um, but anyway, like I said, I'm probably not saying that right whatsoever. Um, I'm pretty excited though. Um, I am a pretty big fan of espresso um, on occasion, um, but I just wanted to kind of get this out of the box here. Um, it looks like this will be um, kind of like a welcome guide along with um, some ex instructions and a warranty thing. Um, I can definitely get that out of the package here in just a little bit. Um, and as you can see, it's pretty well packaged. Um, so for me, ooh, it's a little heavy, just so you know. But for me, it'll be easier just to do it this way, as I try not to catch my cover too much. And you can see the power cord is obviously on the back side since I did this upside down, getting it out. I'm going to try to grab that out first, and then I'm just going to set this on its side. So yeah, it's very well packaged, which is always a pleasant um, thing to see when you get something in the mail. Let's see, I'm not getting this other side off here. Without causing too much of a roughness here. Um, yeah, it's very well packaged. Um, here is going to be um, one of your little tools. Again, I'm going to look through the instructions because I don't remember the names of all this stuff. Um, but yeah, that'll come just a little bit later. But we get the plastic off in here so you can see. So we can all see kind of what we're looking at. Wow. And yeah, there is a beautiful little espresso cappuccino maker. So let me um, dig through the instructions a little bit here and I'll be back in just a little bit. All right, so I did a little bit more unboxing. Um, I went ahead and um, got the instruction manual out. Um, and like I said, it did come. This is like a little spare piece. Again, I'll have to look. Because I don't remember exactly what they are. And then you have this little tool. And then obviously, I know that they use this, you know, when you put your, like, coffee in there and all that good stuff. Um, and like I said, you do get your little welcome um, pamphlet thingy. And then this also is a limited warranty um, for this particular machine. Um, so, yeah, let me, like I said, I'll thumb, thumb through the instructions and see if I can't get a little espresso going here in just a little bit. See, I already got to page number five in the instructions here. Um, and this is your um, portafiller. This is your little measuring spoon and tamper. Um, see, I'm learning all kinds of things with this new machine that I just got. And this is um, your filler one shot. Um, and then, that must be the one that's in, no, excuse me, let me back up just a second. The one that's in here, um, is actually the filler two shots, so, because this one's a little bit smaller, so this will be your filler one shot. Um, so yeah, let me, like I said, I'm going to keep going through this a little bit here to see if I can get me some espresso going here in just a minute. All right, um, so I did go ahead um, and wash all of these extra parts because, um, you know, with any new machine, you want to wash all the parts before you use them, you know, um, but I am going to go ahead and get to cleaning the machine. Um, and as you see um, in the instructions, it's very detailed, um, and so I'm going to do my best to go um, step by step through here. Um, I actually really like that they're very um, explanatory in the 
directions and they have, I don't want to say idiot proof pictures, but if you're like me, pictures do help when you're doing things, especially if it's a new project. Um, so yeah, so we're going to give this a whirl here. Um, first it says to obviously take out the water tank and everything, but I already took it out to um, run it under some warm water um, to get it cleaned. Um, it does say to fill it up to um, the maximum level, um, so I'm going to do that over here. So this is pretty much full. I know it's hard to see. Um, I don't even know if by turning on my light you can see um, where the max line is. Um, but I do have it filled to the max here. Um, and then it says to put it back in here until you get a click. Because um, that way you want it to be securely in place um, for it to work. And I know, they were mine. I believe... I believe we're in there good. Oh yeah. Worst case is, it will yell at me and we'll have to start it over. So, anyway, we're going to close the lid there. I know it seems really, really easy, like I said. Um, and this is the porter filter, um, and you're just going to put... It doesn't even matter which one you put in here. Um, just as long as you put one, um, and like I said, I literally took everything apart um, to clean it. So we're just gonna kind of, you know, more or less reassemble, so we can get going on cleaning this machine. Maybe. Of course, it helps if I know how to put it back in too. On the back here, I don't know if you can really see, but there's like a little knobby thing. Um, and there's a hole on this little, the little filter thing, so you have to make sure that the little hole goes through the end there. Um, I don't know if you can really see that or not, but yeah, and then I'm just screwing this back on here. Um, and then there's a little notch, um, right here, so when you put it into this, you'll see that it should go right here, um, kind of like so, and I'm just gonna push it down and hopefully this is gonna snap in there kind of like that and now we're gonna attempt to lock this in place maybe oh there we go i think i think you just okay so that is good in there and i am also following the directions fyi in case you weren't wondering what i was doing uh, definitely you should plug it in. Alright. And it does say we're going to turn it. And you can hear it. It's making some good noise here. says that once it starts, and discharge half of the water. So it's definitely going to do its thing and, you know, when it's ready, it'll take care of, it'll clean out the little it's doing its thing. I don't know how else to really explain it, aside from it's, I would say that it's preheating the water and getting it ready to pour it into the bowl. Because uh, on your instructions here, it just says to place a bowl underneath because you're going to drain half of the water. And then you'll turn around and we'll do the little cappuccino maker. Um, once this one is done, so, and the little green light came on, so now it's ready. So 
I'm kind of anxious to see. I'm sorry, I don't have a clear bowl, but this is the first one I grabbed, so I figured you all wouldn't mind. And I've never used one of these machines before, but I do like having espresso every now and then, so... I'm just seeing if it's gonna work or not, so... I'll let that kind of do its thing for just a little bit longer here, so... Give me just a minute and I'll be right back. So, um, one thing I have learned, uh, just by getting this cleaned out a little bit, um, patience is a virtue. Um, because I didn't realize that it would take it as long as it did to fill up, but, and get going. But nonetheless, that's what I get for not knowing. And we're just cleaning this out anyway, so, um, let me, uh, get this stopped here in just a little bit because um, we're also going to clean out the cappuccino part two here so give me just a quick second all right i turned my little dial a little bit oops sorry about that um so now we're cleaning out the cappuccino part as well here um it said to pretty much do it until the tank was empty so as you can see we're getting pretty close here um and then i should be ready to actually brew some espresso so give me just a minute while i get that bowl emptied and I'll be right back. All right, so I did dump out the water from the first go around. Um, and as the instructions say here, um, I'm on this part right here. Um, so I'm actually getting ready to rinse this all out for a second time um, before you um, make your espresso. Um, and so as you can see, my bowl's ready to go. Um, instead of taking the water tank out, I'm just gonna fill it up. Um, again to the max fill line in here. Um, but I'm just gonna use a measuring cup. Like I said, that way I don't have to take the tank back out, but you definitely can. I mean, it's entirely up to you. But yeah, I did not realize that um, espresso machines um, take a little bit of time to heat up before they're ready to go. Um, I know that now. And you know, maybe you're, you know, an expert or knew that already, but for me being a first time espresso cappuccino machine owner, um, I did not know that. So, you know what they say, you learn something new every day. Um, so yeah, now that it's full, uh, back up to the max fill line. I'm gonna close my lid and I'm just gonna turn it back to the little coffee cup symbol there. And I'm gonna let half of the water um, drain back into the bowl here. And then once that's drained in there, I will turn on the little cappuccino, cappuccino, excuse me, <laughs> um, part. And as you can see, it's already going through again. Um, in the instructions too, um, in this little gray part, um, it's kind of like a little tip, um, and it does say that if you're going to do multiple um, cups, uh, to wait like a minute per cup, um, just to kind of give your espresso machine a little break. Um, so yeah, so now it's going to just finish its thing um, as far as cleaning it out again. Um, so I'm going to let it do its thing and get it all cleaned out and then we'll be ready to make some espresso. Alright, so now I am ready to officially um, make some espresso um, and my machine is ready to go. So um, first you'll put in whether you want the one cup filter or um, the two cup one. Um, I went ahead and just left the one cup in um, for the sake of I cleaned with it so I figured why not. Um, you do use this little scoop, um, even if you have a scoop already in your coffee. Um, you do use the hand. I'm kind of excited. I know I've said it before, but... And then you... I won't say, like, compress it, but... You definitely don't want the coffee to overflow, though is what I'm reading on the little 
pitcher, distribute the coffee, and evenly press it. Yeah, so, I mean, to me that looks pretty darn good. Um, let me just put this thing back up in here, maybe. It's probably not going to do it now that I have it on, you know, I'm trying to show you people. And yes, I'm not going to start it without a coffee cup, so I'm just making sure this is nice and snug in place here. So, let's do a festive cup. And no, I don't have any like actual espresso cups. Will this one fit? It'll fit if I take it off the tray. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but I did take the tray off to fit the bowl underneath there. That one's not going to work anyway. See, that's what I get. Trying something new here, and wouldn't you know, it's not going to work. That's okay, though. Let me just see about this one. Oops. Trying to cause a ruckus here. I think I'm doing it pretty good. I think it might be safe to say that none of my coffee cups are going to fit under here since, like I said, I don't have any cups that are made specifically for espresso. Alright, so I have that ready to go in here. And then on the instruction, it does say like if you're using the actual um, it says you can use the pods in here too, I guess. Um, you just want to center it as best as possible. Um, so then I have it attached and it's on already and it is ready to go because I got the green light to go. So you just turn it back over to the little coffee cup here. And then when the, it says, uh, when the desired amount of coffee is dispensed in here, you just turn it back to the little on switch and that is ready to go and that will be how you do um, espresso so pretty tickled that I got this and I got it all clean and now it's ready to do some of the good work not that cleaning wasn't fun or anything like that but yeah and so that is that that is some I'll show it to you here maybe without totally spilling it everywhere and I don't know how good you can see that you can't even see it at all um, but there is this I guess I could have just you know I think of these things while I'm talking to y'all and it's like oh well you'd probably like a better view of it there that is some espresso made from my awesome um, machine here so let me get this all cleaned out and we'll be ready to move on to the uh, cappuccino part all right um so now um since i've already made um our first my first espresso in here um i'm gonna do the cappuccino uh so i'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and let it get ready to um go here um and step Number six here, I don't know if you can see this or not, let me just see. Um, so it's just going to tell you um, to go ahead and prepare your espresso like you normally would here. Um, and then once your espresso is ready to go, um, that's when you're going to do the cappuccino part here. Um, so yeah, let me, uh, like I said, get my espresso ready to go here. Um, I do have everything out and ready. I'm gonna attempt to do this while my daughter is napping. Seems to be just a little more convenient and easier to do that. Like that. I'm just putting that in my sink so I can get it uh, Rinsed out here. Alright. Whoops. Okay. I forgot I have to take out that tray. For my little cup to fit. Just perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and. We 
are definitely ready to go here this morning, which is great. Especially after I brewed some just a little bit ago, so. <laughs> I think I'm going to do about half, so I'm going to go ahead and just turn that back to on there and let that finish. We'll let it get dripping here. So according to um, your instructions um, for your um, cappuccino part, um, on this third step, I don't know, it is a little hard to see, but um, in your, if you get this machine, it'll have its own instructions. Um, but right here it is saying that um, you just want to use about 100 milliliters of milk um, or 3.8 three eight fluid ounces um, just because it is going to get nice and frothy uh, so I do have a measuring cup here um, I'm gonna go ahead and just come up here. And so so basically it to me it boils it's about I want to say it's about a quarter cup is what I'm guessing let me just make sure I'm Right on my mark here. Yeah, so this is, I know it's going to be hard to tell exactly what my measuring cup says, um, but this is going to be um, just the perfect amount of milk um, according to the directions here. Um, and it said you could use whatever jug, so I'm just going to pour it in another little coffee cup here. And again, I don't know, I've never done this before, so this could be a very exciting adventure. Um, it says, of course, place the jug under the cappuccino maker, which I did. Um, turn the steam dial, I'm on this fifth step down here, it says turn the steam dial on the side of the machine here. Um, there is a person, like a hand, um, so I am going to pick this up and make sure that it's actually like this. Um, and it says to do this for about 60 seconds, um, and the milk will be nice and frothy. Um, and yeah, so let's, let's give this a whirl here. I'm a little excited. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, I don't. It might be a little hard to see in there. Um, and then your cup is obviously ready to go here. It does say in the instructions um, if you do multiple uh, cappuccinos um, to make all of your um, espressos first, um, and then um, do your. A cappuccino part at the very end um, and you can use obviously a bigger jug or mug or whatever you have um, but yeah so I'm just gonna so I was just gonna pour that on top kind of like so obviously I can pour a little bit more on there yeah. and I'll let you guys get a better look here But yeah, that is a cappuccino. And just in case you wanted a better view of the instructions here, um, as far as making your cappuccino. 
Um, and it's really neat because you do have like these gray little boxes throughout the whole instruction manual that give you little helpful tips. Um, so yeah, so that is how you make um, a cappuccino. So after I made the cappuccino here, um, the 6.2, um, let me just see if you can see this. Um, this is what I'm going to do um, next, like I said, since I just made the cappuccino. Um, it says to definitely let this cool down um, before you touch it, of course. Um, I did... Sure. I did go ahead and uh, discharge some of that water. Uh, so now I just need to um, unscrew it, which that was pretty simple here. Um, it was really, really easy for me to do this. And it just says to wash um, this little part thoroughly with some warm water. Um, and then it says, I am going to do that, by the way. I just set it in my sink just to get it out of the way. Uh, doo -doo -doo. It says, remove the nozzle by pulling it downwards. You do have to use a little bit of oomph to get that off. Um, and again, you'll run it under some warm water. Um, it does say to make sure that the holes are not clogged. Um, as you can see, um, it's a very, very fine um, point. I don't know if this is even going to be worth trying to show you here. Um, but there is a little tiny hole there that you can sort of see. Um, and you can also, again, wait for my camera to adjust, maybe. Um, but you can kind of see in there too. Um, the hole down there so yeah you're just going to run that under some warm water um before you reassemble it um and so i'll just do that really quick here um bear with me my daughter is awake so she might have some two cents to put in there but all right so i did go ahead and rinse those off um and just basically you're gonna reassemble um, how you took it off here. You just make sure it's all the way in there. Same with that. There are there is like a little notch um, here on this tube for your cappuccino. And so you do want to get that lined up um, because there there is a notch on your ooh, uh, cappuccino machine as well. Um, I just want to see if it's the kind of thing where it locks and it does lock into place. Um, so once you get it up here, you just twist it a little bit and it'll lock into place. Um, and then last but not least, um, if you just want some hot water from your um, cappuccino espresso machine, um, oops, Sorry about that. Um, there are instructions here on how to just do um, some hot water, like for hot tea or something like that. Uh, so I can definitely do that really quick and just kind of show you guys what that entails. Um, and again, I mean, this is just the cup that I happen to have. You can use whatever cup you want. Um, but yeah, just make sure your machine is ready to go, which the green light is on, um, and you guys can see that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move the nozzle, um, place a cup under, turn the dial. Alright, so first we're going to turn this, and we're going to do that. And that's basically it. It is dispensing some hot water there. Um, I know it's, a, it's just making a lot of noise, but it is doing what it's supposed to be doing here. Um, and then again, you fill it up to whatever, can, however much water you want. Um, and then just turn that knob back there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's it um, for this machine. Now obviously, um, it does go on to tell you about 
cleaning and whatnot. Um, and I can just bring you guys closer to see this. Um, so yeah, as you see, it talks about um, cleaning your machine and all the parts and stuff after you do cappuccino and espresso and whatnot. Um, and it just gets a little more detailed. Um, you can even do the descaling. Um, I think it's recommended for every like 200 cups um, on your machine here. Um, but yeah, like I said before, this is extremely thorough, um, which is fantastic. And then you also have a troubleshooting guide too, um, just in case um, something's wrong and you can't quite figure it out. Um, and yeah, then obviously it goes into a different language. Um, but yeah, that is my espresso cappuccino maker. Um, and yeah, I hope you all enjoyed slash bared with me through this video. So yeah, thanks for watching.